On the 7th of March in Geneva, Women for the World, a working group of the NGO Committee on the Status of Women, organized a forum entitled Honoring Women. During the forum, the participants shared memories of the values and talents transmitted by the women that accompanied them throughout their life. The conversation continued amongst the various cultures and it became evident that mothers and grandmothers universally play a central role in the construction of our personality, value system and identity. Here are some testimonies on the subject by men and women from all the continents. Women constitute half the world's population, perform nearly two-thirds of its work hours, receive one-tenth of the world's income, and own less than one-hundredth of the world's property. Ondi dama lang malenke denke nyara denke tinyara ibaleno. Autrement dit, quand un enfant réussit ou quand un enfant ne réussit pas dans un projet précis, allez demander le secret à sa mère. mi abuelita eh, sigue siendo una figura importante y muchas de las cosas que yo les transmito a mis hijos eh, definitivamente es, es el discurso de mi abuelita. My children now, they tell me, especially my son, he tells me, you know, they call her mami tía, mami tía es mi madre, he says, mami tía had such a huge influence on us. She used to sit down and tell them the history of Ethiopia. He says, do you know who you are? And she was telling me many, many histories about uh, what happened in, in 1936 in the Civil War War. And then possibly I, uh, I have received this indirect license. And, uh, and then um, and possibly I, I decided then to, to spend my life in, in promoting peace uh, thanks to my conversation with my mom when I was a child and an adolescent. And, and now today, as well. Et c'est simplement quelqu'un qui, qui avait une mentalité de service. Ça, je pense, c'est quelque chose qui m'a beaucoup influencé. Puis c'est au cœur de ma disons, ma, ma conviction spirituelle aujourd'hui, est aussi simplement un amour inconditionnel. Elle est le modèle de, de la personne qui inspire les autres. Sa vie devient une leçon pour les autres. Parce que quand on voit une personne qui est capable de faire face à autant d'épreuves, ça veut dire que moi, je peux. Ma mère était ma première mentor. She really was very strict about um, how we deal with people. Ma grand-mère m'accompagnait euh, dans la petite broussaille pour m'apprendre le nom de chaque arbre ou arbuste ou herbe. Et c'est essentiel. C'est essentiel. Ma grand-mère s'assurait que j'avais euh, retenu le nom de chaque élément de la nature qu'elle m'avait présenté. She was also my first teacher, but she was always interested what, in what I learned. She wanted to know, for example, the English that I learned in the school. When I came back, I had to tell her the words, and she tried to repeat them. She always wanted to accompany me throughout my life. In Bombay, we all, of course, went to schools where we learned English. And my mother learned from us the words that we used. And she said, oh, yes, I can speak English. So we used to say, okay, mother, speak. And then when she used to 
mispronounce we used to laugh. She said, you can laugh, but I have learnt it from you. Dusra, I said, Mama, what do I do? She said, I understand. My ultimate house is my house. वो दिन आज का दिन सदाई परमात्मा की याद रहे अच्छी सिमरती रहे सिर्फ एट इयर्स हो गया मुझे ये बात कभी भूली नहीं है। Je pense que pour ma maman c'était ma maman d'accueil c'est le jour où je l'ai rencontrée parce que à l'époque j'étais très rebelle et pas facile donc c'est vrai que j'étais un petit peu indomptable et puis Grâce à l'amour, j'ai réussi à être dompté. Je ne vous cache pas que j'étais très choyé par ma grand-mère, par Néné. Ma my, my grand-mère would never buy uh, a cake, would never buy processed food. And yet, um, she lavished uh, uh, cakes and good food upon us. So, on the way home from school every day, there was always a cake waiting, you know. And you were always pleased that um, when you walked closer and closer to the uh, to their apartment, that you could smell smell the cake, you know, after school. Ver a mi abuelita, ella le gustaba mucho hacer tortillas, molerlas a mano. Y recuerdo que ella empezaba a moler las tortillas y empezaba a cantar y empezaba a bailar frente a su cocina de leña. Y era una experiencia linda el estar ahí con ella, ¿verdad? El, el también ver como ese amor que ella lograba plasmar en, en lo que ella hacía de comer, en este caso las tortillas, ¿verdad? Y luego el, el amor, el cariño y, y la entrega también con la que ella compartía esas cosas tan ricas de comer. I always want to really mimic the way that she, that she treated people, that she cared for people. Just like they had always known each other, like they were old friends, or like they were family. And people she had just met made them feel welcome, made them feel comfortable, made them feel loved. And it's not even that she had to do anything, it was just uh, the way she spoke to them, the way she looked at them, the way she touched people. And, um, I admire that so much. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, something, one of the many things that I want for myself. Bueno, yo tuve ese privilegio también de haber nacido y crecido en el seno de una familia judía de mujeres matronas, todas en 200 metros lineales en el mismo barrio, en donde cada mañana ese concepto de la solidaridad de saber quién está enfermo, a quién le llevo un bocadito de comida. Eh, las señoras mayores se paseaban por estas 200 metros del brazo, visitando cada una de las casas de toda la familia que vivíamos. So my mother and my father, especially my mother, she said, don't promise anything that you cannot fulfill. She said, you're promising something that is not yours. But we will do it because, you know, you have made a promise. She was a fantastic gardener. She had a, this huge garden uh, that she worked on, that she didn't buy a single vegetable in 30-some-odd years. Because she was a woman who was talented in terms of artistic. My mother told stories, sang songs, danced, danced. Tremenda. Es que mi madre tuvo 10 hijos. 10 hijos, casi prácticamente sola. Yo sentía de chiquita como que yo la cuidaba y al mismo tiempo que ella me cuidaba a mí. Nosotros siempre llamábamos a mi mamá la supermamá porque no sabíamos cómo ella sacaba tiempo y fuerza para trabajar, eh, ayudarnos en el colegio, cocinar y aún así a veces tenía tiempo de sacarnos al parque. I don't know, she's been always an example for me. Uh, just uh, beginning with the fact that she raised us all, all, all alone. And um, well, what I do remember very good is that it, when it was, when it, we were in, in the primary school and it was the Father's Day, that in Honduras is uh, always uh, a celebration. And 
my father usually he wasn't there, but it was my mom there. And then my my classmates they asked me a lot of times, uh, "Who's your father?" And I always told them, uh, "Is that woman over there? Is my mom? She's both. She's my mom and she's my dad." It's my mom who brought us up. We had to go to work. Remember that. Uh, she had to take care of the kids and we were growing up and we came from a very um, uh, poor family I would say because there was five of us sleeping in a room maybe the size of uh, two meters by four meters and uh, as kids we I think it must be due to my mom we didn't really feel it we enjoyed our life we grew up uh, and that's how we did ce que m'inspire ma grand-mère aujourd'hui, c'est cette force de caractère. Et comment, malgré l'âge, elle a toujours fait face, elle a toujours été courageuse, toujours la tête haute. La bonté, la sagesse, la patience, la compassion, la rébellion, la quiétude. C'est de respecter au possible dans sa vie quotidienne ses, son, ses idéaux. Ce qu'elle fait à son travail, je l'admire beaucoup. Quoi. Donc, euh, parce qu'elle soutient euh, donc ces femmes africaines touchées par le sida. Elle les accompagne. Il enfin, y a vraiment euh, un, une complicité qui se passe entre, entre elles. J'ai fait rencontrer une avec qui je m'entends très bien. Et euh, soit elle me raconte chaque fois, alors ta maman, elle a un grand cœur, euh, etc. Puis c'est très touchant, je trouve, de voir ça. Je me suis senti beaucoup plus proche de ma grand-mère que de ma mère, parce que c'était une femme qui avait une douceur et surtout une absence de jugement euh, vraiment exceptionnelle. Qui, je me sentais vraiment accepté d'elle inconditionnellement, ce qui est quelque chose de très rare dans, dans la vie. My mother's passed on to me uh, many things, especially uh, like her morals. Uh, I definitely have her way of thinking. She's very, um, she's very into NGOs and well, UN, a bit different. But she's into helping people, and I definitely think that she's passed that on to me. The person that uh, I have been. Uh, influencing uh, by, uh, by them and all different values that I have today is thanks to, to them and, and I am what uh, they have to teach me. From my mother, uh, again, tolerance, you know, tolerance for others. Our family is not only Orthodox, it has also a Muslim part in the, in the olden times. Uh, and accepting also the Jews, because we come from a region where the Jewish people were there, the Falashas were there. Uh, this to her was a, a kind of a cultural variation to be tolerated. Hay cosas en las que mi madre era radical con respecto a cómo estábamos obligados realmente, cómo, o sea, para mi madre la solidaridad, la generosidad eran cosas obligatorias, o sea, no podía ser de otra manera, ser de otra manera implicaba mejor no estar aquí. Era pues una persona que te hacía reír cuando más lo necesitabas. At the most remarkable crisis, she had something to say which was funny. Être soi. Elle m'a inspiré à plus me comprendre, plus m'écouter et oui, plus être moi en fait. La referencia, mi, y no solamente mía, cuando converso de estos temas con mis hermanos y mis primos, que nos encanta mucho recordar nuestra familia cuando éramos niños y niñas, siempre la referencia nuestra son estas mujeres, la formación viene de estas mujeres. La quietud face a su identidad retrouvée. On dit, chez nous, 
comme dans l'Antiquité grecque, connais-toi toi-même. Celle-ci se connaissait. Elle connaissait son histoire. Elle connaissait les références, n'est-ce pas, historiques de son univers. Elle, et par conséquent, il y avait une identité retrouvée. Il n'y a plus d'inquiétude. Ma mère m'a raconté quand elle a recueilli une fille qu'un de, qu de ses fils avait rendue enceinte, elle a accueilli à la maison sans aucun jugement, sans aucune critique. Et ça, je trouve que, à l'époque, hein, c'était il, il y a presque 100 ans, hein, ce n'était pas quelque chose qu'on qu faisait facilement dans un milieu très, très religieux, très, très protestant. We didn't uh, take no for an answer. And one day, my grandfather invited many people for uh, lunch. You know, in, in our place, we invite hundreds of people. And he said, he is inviting the gentlemen. And my grandmother said, how about the women? I'm so glad I have to invite the women. I said, no, 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 this time it's going to be only for the gentleman. She got so mad. She got so mad. She went to the kitchen, she destroyed whatever was cooked, and she left him. She left him and she went to her father. I feel that all the formation, digamos, spiritual, the base of the spirituality that I received, I received from my mother. O sea, ella era realmente la persona que tenía una gran fuerza, un poder espiritual que se transmitía. And another value that I have received from them, the values of a religious, a religious belief. Christian, chay Muslim, also Bhagwan ko father karke mante hain. Tu Bharat me mata pita mante hain. Tu mati kerta hai na? प्यार भरी उसे बहुत सुख है परमात्मा के पास फीमेल मेल कार नहीं है मेरा बच्चा है ना Repartidor de chicha en las fiestas de enero. Santo Cristo negro. Como las gentes del Guanacaste, tática Dios milagreros, que me amparas un desastre. 